guys, welcome to Korean Studios. During this video, I'll be teaching you guys a simple effect that was done by a friend of mine, Sam Edit, and I left the link in the description box below. Check out the first link there now or oh, no after this tutorial. Check out this channel, then you can see his own tutorial. But for today, I used um, Femora 9, the latest version, to do this effect, and also he used um, Kind Master to do this effect. You can go there yeah, and check that out if you're using Kind Master and if you also you have Femora you can join those two ideas together and use them in your video. So the first link there is on this channel. The second link there where you can download the Speed Force um, video that you use for your own. And also let's get right into Femora 9. Hey guys, welcome to Screen Studios. And today we're we'll doing this um, speed force effect with um, Femora 9. I just got Femora 9 and it's very easy, very simple to use. I urge you guys to go get this application right now. So after doing that, um, we'll get a speed force video. I'll leave that in the link. Sorry, I'll leave the link in the description box below where you can go download that. And also, after uploading your speed force effect to your uh, media bin then you get your green screen video anyhow you shot your green screen video that you want to use for a speed force effect then we add our speed force effect to the first timeline there on the femora application so after adding it on the first timeline there you go then you add your green screen video to the second timeline you detach your audio so you won't get like a background noise after shooting your green screen video you delete your audio then you cut out the parts that you don't want to see that you did in the green screen um, video you just cut that out so after cutting out you just do a little tweaking adjust your video to the right place how you want it to be then you crop your green screen video i use custom because i want to do it freehand because if i use the other style to cut my video the way i don't want it to cut so after cropping you you go and adjust your speed force video to the length of your green screen video so it won't go like you just vanish from the speed force nobody will see you so after doing that you go on chroma key and um femora chroma key is very simple it's very easy you can check out your channel femora video editor to learn more about chroma key with femora and also let's get into our let's continue our tutorial um you just adjust your key adjust it to lose the green screen and i just did that for some seconds because my green screen was not that okay i shot the video in the night so it was just like like dry very dry so then you check how your king went then you click ok next what you're doing is um adding your your glue and after adding your glue you just add like three layers depending on how your video is assuming i added four then after doing that you go and double click your glow effect it will take you to this tab again then you click on that and change it to screen reduce the opacity to let me say 20 you do that to the other three you just change our opacity to 20 so we're doing that very fast so after doing that you just adjust your glue effect then you go back to shake i don't want to add a shake here but let's just try if 
um, a motion effect will be great for this. If it's not great, we'll just leave that, we'll leave that, and we'll not add any um, shake to it. And uh, as he did it on um, Kind Monster, he used the flicker. But um, Femora, I didn't find any flicker here. So I'm still working on it. I'm still getting through the application to know how it works. So um, that didn't work for us very good. So we'll just click on OK. And we'll add plate, sorry, the we'll plate and see how our video is. And our video is looking OK for now. And we'll add our smoke. Our dust sorry not smoke our dust so after adding your dust you trim it to the right size then you go and change it to screen and you do that to the second one change it to screen and okay so that's all it's a very, very simple effect and um femora came with a very good pack that i saw and we call it the shake so we added the shake effect to make the effect realistic to make it to make it um how will i put it to make it great so it will be as if we are really in the speed force so just reduce our shake effect so we don't have too much shake in our video after doing that you click on that to remove the separate RGB separate or whatever after doing that then you go and get your bars to make your video look cinematic and bars do make video look cinematic and I love using bars because wow they're great um the they, they remove um some of your errors that you do in your video and that's just it we just add our sound effect i got this on youtube i just search for reverse flash sound effect and i got this i just add it to my to my video here trim it to the right size how i want it to be so just do that in a bit um increase the volume we we'll increase the volume by Clicking on that line, raising it up, and after doing that, okay, then you trim your sound, you double click on your sound, fade in and fade out effect so it look cool. And play that and see how it works. Yeah, our sound is okay, our um, dust effect is okay, and also let's go get our bars because our bars are very important and where did i put that where did i put that five bars add the bars three bars not add the a bar is not there okay let's go back and add the bar again so draw the bar to the top most layer then increase it to the size you want if it's throughout the video you put it throughout the video because it's very important double click on, double click on the bar and stretch it out a little if it covers some part of your face or any part you want then after doing that that's all for the video because um, your speed force um, effect is done so you just click on export um, I do export on um, 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second but this video will be using 25 frames per second then you click on export and you're done so guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe smash the bell icon to get notification if i upload a new video and don't forget to share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you in my next tutorial